oh my gosh I, I really cannot believe i'm doing this because like i've been wanting to do like i started my youtube page so i can do this video and i've been so afraid to do it um but you know i'm just gonna speak the truth and speak what comes from my heart and i've really been like delaying this video like a lot i've been like nah i'm gonna shoot it tomorrow next week this does so today i just woke up um it's sunday i woke up i listened to a sermon and you know it spoke to me so i'm just gonna do this video so as you can see from the title this is going to be lessons that 2020 has taught me <laughs> started off rough like trust <laughs> it started off rough because like in 2019 everyone had these hopes and dreams for 2020 and it was like you know our 2020 new year new me new decade i know everyone says new year new me every year but this year we meant it we meant it we knew what we we're gonna do we knew all the dream all of our dreams were gonna come true <laughs> so then corona just said Hold up no not for you but for him but anyways um so you know corona just came and corona is a very bad thing don't get me wrong but like god has a way of changing bad things into good things you know corona had to go on lockdown and we had to stay at home the whole time we stayed at home we got to connect with our families connect with ourselves find our thing called find our hobbies and stuff like that and we were like able to find ourselves know who we truly are know who everyone in the house is because i know we've lived with each other for like our whole lives but then <laughs> this thing we could not leave the house we had to stay home day to night week to week month to month i don't know for how long i think yesterday was day 100 of I don't know lockdown quarantine whatever um but then like even if we knew each other i think we really found out who we really were our true colors came out so even though things look like you know this is terrible this is horrible the world is ending it is not the end of the world you just need to hold on to god trust in the lord so i get that like peer pressure is real because um everyone wants to be liked by someone everyone wants to feel like popular everyone wants to feel loved by other people but <laughs> but sometimes um bad friends make you do certain things to fit in and i'm telling you here today that you don't have to do that you can choose your own way um let me try and make an example okay so let's say i'm your friend now so then i i'll only like you if you do a certain thing and i'll only like you if you act a certain way so if those people don't like you for your true personality then cut them off your life because they're not supposed to be there and peer pressure is real like it's real like trust me it's real but like at the end of the day you have to remember that decisions that you make will impact your future either in a good way or in a bad way so think about it now are your friends really the friends that you're supposed to have in your life are they really gonna benefit you are they really gonna push you to be doing good things or are they gonna be like nah do this do this why aren't you doing this you whack no so because like now now it might seem cool now it might seem like mm, i'm the boss i'm the boss baby i'm the boss look at me now but then in the future in the future uh-uh mm -mm, that's not how it is trust me trust me <laughs> the future it will ruin your life your decision that you make right now you might think that it's small nah it's just this little thing but it will so am i right that everyone here everyone watching this video wants to be successful right so what is success to you ask yourself that what is success to you what does it mean to you does it have a deeper meaning or is it just 
objects let's just say objects because i can't find the word that i'm trying to say not that everyone wants to but in order to be successful you will need to sacrifice some things like you don't just wake up one morning ah oh, i'm so successful i'm so successful uh 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 it don't work that way uh 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 one of the other secrets to success is being patient be patient in yourself you won't just like be successful in a week it is possible i'm not saying it's impossible but you have to work for it with being patient like let me give you an example it's like going on a walk so a few steps in the walk you are frustrated because you're not at the finish line yet you need to be patient and brother or sister out there listening to this so am I right that everyone knows that God does things for a reason? We've heard this time and time growing up. So that is true. It is true. Where you are right now, you are supposed to be there. You might not be where you want to be, but you're not where you used to be. And you are going where you're supposed to be. Now, I hope that refreshed in your head and think about it carefully. Ah! That sounded like a song. Ah! That sounded like a song. All you have to do is trust in God like I said before trust in God have faith in every single step that you take forward because like you cannot do anything without God without God you are nothing with God you are everything <laughs> so people have so many insecurities in life I have some I have many actually um People go on Instagram, they look at certain girls, they wish, oh my word, why can't my body be like this? Why can't I be this beautiful? I understand, I've been there. But all you need to know is that, am I right when I say that everyone has a different fingerprint? Yes. So, if God made different fingerprints for everyone, why would God make you like someone else? The only thing that you can fail in in life is being trying to be like someone else. Because... The only person that you can be is you and that's the only way that you can succeed be successful oh the reason why i chose the intro hello beautiful person watching this hello beautiful person watching this is so that i can make you guys feel loved and you guys are beautiful you are beautiful and unique in your own way so don't let anybody tell you something else because like the saying the devil is a liar <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a little tip that you can use whenever you're feeling down or feeling like bad or something you know so I am NOT where I want to be in life thank God I'm not where I used to be and I'm going where I need to be so don't forget that can I take a video in peace please so don't forget that everybody and I hope that you guys really enjoyed my message and I really enjoyed this actually I was very afraid to make this video but now I feel more confident and I hope that you feel the same way too and just keep on loving yourself but don't love yourself in an arrogant way but anyway stay blessed Love you. Bye. You know. I I I I I I I begin to. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I